Hi, my fellow creative and art lover. I'm an artist and an art coach, and today I want to share with you the process behind this painting while I talk about mindset and how it hugely affects your growth rate as an artist, both in terms of technical skills and also developing your style. Mindset is a huge topic, one that I want to dedicate this channel to, to help you grow as an artist. I feel like this topic around mindset when it comes to growing any skills is really lacking out there. It's always about either talent or practice, practice, practice. And I personally just ignore the term talent altogether. We don't know exactly what it is and if it does exist it's so many factors playing in. So I like to just focus on what we can control. So yes, practice, practice, practice is very important, but maybe more, much more important, in my opinion, is the mindset you bring to that practice, how you practice. In this video, I want to share with you how my motivator was in the wrong place. My motivation for learning. I was motivated by something that was not sustainable. It just made me stop dead in my tracks. I used to chase skills in painting to make up for not liking myself. In my late teens and early 20s, I repeatedly told myself I was not an interesting person, especially in social gatherings. So I told myself I was not an interesting person and I had nothing of value to the conversation. And as I discovered painting, I started to use achievements as proof that I was worthy of liking myself. And as my skills grew, my self-love also grew, but it was still conditional. So whenever I made a painting that I was satisfied with, to me that meant that I was in fact an interesting person. And the opposite was true to me if I produced a painting that I was not happy with. It meant that I proved myself wrong, that no, I was not an interesting person after all, and I did not have any value to provide. And the result of that was that I always played it safe. So I created what I already knew. My brush strokes was very tight. I minimized risk. So I did everything I could to not make a bad painting. I always painted with the result in mind not the process. My motivation by fear really stagnated my growth. When you develop your skills and your style, all it is is just thousands of little discoveries. And if you're not brave enough to take risk, then you'll just always produce what you already know and you won't make new discoveries and so you won't grow. Checking in on your why is so important. Do you chase skills to prove something or to change some sort of circumstance that is out of your control? For example, do you have thoughts like, if I just reach that level, then they'll take me seriously. And if you make a painting that you're not happy with, what do you take that to mean? Does it mean that, oh, I'll never get as good as I want? Or does it mean that you were brave, that you took a risk and that the painting turned out not like you planned. And more importantly, does it mean that there are lessons to take right in front of you and that you have a chance to grow? is just a necessary part of growing. It's inevitable if you want to grow. When you create from a place of worrying about the outcome, lots of things happen that slows down your learning rate. Number one, you may procrastinate or not paint at all. Number two, you may overthink what to paint, which in turn lowers the quantity of paintings. Number three, you may criticize yourself because our inner critic is triggered by fear. Your inner critic is just fear in disguise. Number four, it may be hard to get into the flow state, which is where the magic happens. It may be hard because your mind is just all wrapped up in your mind chatter. 
Number five, you try to minimize the risk of a bad painting, so you only paint what you already know. Number six, when you do create a quote-unquote bad painting, you miss out on the lessons right in front of you because you're busy thinking of whatever you make it to mean and the unpleasant feelings resulting from your thoughts. Number seven, you won't have fun. Do you want to keep painting if you're not having fun? Number eight, very importantly, you will not place the part of yourself that wants to express. Your inner creative, the part of you that you want to chase skills for. I could seriously go on and on, but I'll leave it there for now. Get to know yourself and what drives you. It all starts with self-awareness. You can't change something if you're not aware of it. And remember that fear, like any other feeling in the book, needs to be acknowledged understood and reassured before you can move on. I have such big plans for this channel in terms of mindset and helping you grow as an artist. So make sure you like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!